These are amazing Coltrane lines. Almost only using chord notes. And I think the clarity and simplicity is stunning. This is one of the reasons why we love Coltrane. In just these three lines there's so much information you need to know when you play the blues. One of the amazing things with these lines is the simplicity and clarity. It makes it so easy to apply this directly into your music. <laughs> Checking out this little line shows us that Coltrane is using the first two notes of the chord notes, the F7, the A and the F. And you see in the B flat 7 that Coltrane is using the 9 and the root. Immediately try to add these simple patterns into your playing. play the actual rhythm of Coltrane, just play your own rhythm in any tempo you like. You can also play rubato if you like. If you need to practice these patterns first, for example the third to the root, take it through the four chords of the blues. The F7, the B flat 7, the C7 and the D7. When you take this apart to practice it, you can also fool around with the rhythm. Remember to take both patterns apart, the third to the root and the ninth to the root. A really great brain training trick is to start your phrases on other notes than the root. When you take a look at my Patreon, you'll find all these Coltrane licks written out in all 12 keys directly for you to apply to your music. <laughs> When playing these patterns and you know them, start inverting them, like Coltrane does on Blues to Bichet. The inversion lies in instead of jumping from the third to the root, down, he jumped from the third to the root, up, and then he's adding the seventh to that. Because ending on the root is not always that nice. Remember to take the patterns for a spin on the blue scheme. Every time you figure out a new pattern, take it for a spin, fool around with the rhythm. The most important thing is make it swing. Looking at bar 2, the F7 in this Coltrane line, Coltrane adds a little chromatic step in there. Again, take this through the four dominant chords in this blues. Being creative with these ideas and mixing them up could give you these patterns. First going from the third to the root and then adding the seventh to the mix. If you take it a step further you can add the chromatic approach note in the beginning. Take this through these four chords of the blues. Adding this to the blues is not a problem. Find tons of tutorials in the Patreon lesson manual. For each of the Coltrane lines and the mixes of the lines I've made, I have made new etudes in the lesson manual. This will give you a flying start on these Coltrane lines. In this line from Coltrane's Blues to You, he starts on the 5th. I do not think that this pattern is as strong as the other ones, but it is really great to have in your vocabulary because you need to be able to start on the 5th of the chord too. And again, I would really recommend you to start working this out on the four chords to get this into your playing before you start throwing it into the blues, because starting on the fifth is a little bit more tricky than starting on the root of the third. See when I'm playing this little blues bit, I'm only using that pattern from the fifth one time because that's where it fits best. You should always take a close listen to the lines you're playing. Do they actually fit together? When you look at the fourth bar, you see I changed the pattern. You see that I'm playing the same pattern, but I placed the root down. And then I added the seventh also. Continuously taking the material, changing it, making new patterns. And if you're checking the last bar of this Coltrane line, you see that Coltrane is playing from the seventh. And basically it's just the chord down, but Coltrane is adding this little chromatic step to it. The A to the B flat, then going down that C7. That chromatic step just gives a little bit more to it. When you go practice this, take one pattern, take two patterns, line all the patterns up next to you, take a look at them 
and choose which ones you're going to play. Slowly add them to your music, one by one. You're not in a hurry to add them all to your playing. Giving you a huge help to do this, I've added all these patterns on the Patreon in the lesson manual. And I've written out a lot of blues etudes for you using these patterns in the blues form that you can play these right away, getting all these patterns into your system. And of course, I've added everything in all 12 keys so you can choose what you want to work on. Keep going and learn much more from Coltrane in these two videos. Play music, have fun.